what you all say hey, Oh now your lies are coming Hey, in a way Let them know Tell them how you don't want to love them In a way Let them know went training a lot more than we did last year endurance training but also technical training we went riding together a lot Welcome back to Full Stand TV. This is the vlog about our first Enduro race. Folks, from Brandon Rooster. So, um, Lox, that was the first race of the season. I was super hyped to go racing and I wanted redemption after last year's, you could call it a disaster. Um, practice was all right, and so I was ready for the race. On stage one, I tried to push through these um, yeah gravelly turns that were super slippery, and after I don't know five turns, just you know not too many turns. Um, my well one of the wheels at my derailleur just broke off and i couldn't pedal anymore well unfortunately for me um the the stage was super flat so um yeah i lost so much time um at the end of the stage i think i was two minutes 20 off um the lead which was uh brenton brenton led the race the race in general was pretty physical, I'd say. Technically not the most demanding one, but physically quite a challenge. Um, there were some big jumps on stage four, which I tried and messed up in my race run. But uh, other than that, I really liked um, the race in locks. And um, yeah, it was really cool, of course, especially for me, because I've always been riding there since I was like about seven. So basically since the very beginning, I've been riding there. So I was quite familiar with uh, most of the most of the trails there. And I was able to make up um, over a minute, but I was still over a minute back. But uh, that secured me a, you know, good uh, fourth place. So I was actually hyped uh, with that. But I also knew that I could do more because I had a big mechanical. We also uh, went onto the podium with the team there, which was really, really nice. So uh, I enjoyed that as a kickoff of the season. Then we went to Alech Arena a few weeks later. I really like the tracks there. It's more kind of a hiker trail thing and not bike trails and bike parky stuff, but narrow trails where you can go really fast with a, a lot of rocks in your way. I uh, had a crash. I mean, it was super good all the way down. Then I had a crash. I went over the bars, over the tape, and I had to go again, well, onto the track and that cost me quite some time um, and then I was able to just finish the stage with I think 100 or 150 meters before the end of the stage so it was yeah I was not very happy about that but it was okay and uh, the last stage I also tried to um, well not to crash but still push enough to make a podium because well was then my first uh, podium uh, and so I was you know super stoked about that um, I did end up getting in fifth place, I think, and um, yeah, that 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 wasn't so. That I didn't really 
like that, but it's fine. It's racing, and you you can't always get on the podium, which is, of course, all right. And, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, I had a crash on stage number three because I just came in a little bit too hot into one of the corners where a few people were standing. So I had a crash there, but then caught up some time because I wanted to do, to do good again. Um, I think I was in fifth position after the third stage so um, I kind of wanted to throw it all at the last stage. Um, after a few hundred meters I already heard some air escaping my rear tire but fortunately it's sealed again. Um, I just had a big wobble in my wheel but it didn't really bother me during the stage and later on in those grassy turns I had two uh, over the bars and uh, yeah I just crashed twice so this cost me a lot of time and I ended up in fifth place. Also, we went onto the podium again with the team, which was really, really nice. Yeah. Leuk um, Yeah. Also, a really, really cool race. I ended up getting on the podium there again. I ended up being uh, third place. And there was a quite a lot of, uh, a quite decent amount of uphill, which I also enjoyed. It really added to the physical part of um, the indoor race. Uh, I think I was in fourth at that stage, or maybe I was, no, I was in third, just behind Breton. And we were tied up in the overall points, and I thought, come on, I can't just let him take the overall. Um, which, yeah, obviously wouldn't have been so bad, but I just wanted to be good. Uh, so then I was really hyped for stage uh, four, which had two parts and like a push between of them. And I pushed hard. Brenton unfortunately crashed twice, so uh, I was able to get, you know, way in front of him. Um, and I was first on that stage, was my first stage win uh, since Lux. So I was, yeah, super stoked about that. And only one more short stage to go. I was uh, 20 seconds back um, behind of Luke Hevlinger. Props to you, you did great. Um, and I knew that I, if he didn't do like a real mistake that I couldn't catch him anymore, but I just gave it all. But uh, at the end it was actually all right. I was super stoked. Uh, I ended up sitting in a uh, second position, which was the best result yeah, of the season so far. My result was not what I wanted. I ended up in ninth at the end, but uh, I guess it's okay. Also because I crashed and lost quite some time because my handlebars were twisted um, on the third stage. And yeah, but overall it was also a fun race. And, of course, we were able to go onto the podium with the team as well, which is always nice to have this moment. Brenton Rusterholz! Bravo, Bravo Brenton! To Matteo Deles! Bravo, Bravo Matteo! Matteo Deles, Brenton Rusterholz! Um, but I kind of saw that the first race I was fourth, then third, then second. Um, and the next race would be in the bike kingdom. And uh, so I thought, come on, I'll, I'll try to do it even better. It, it's possible. Um, but yeah, I was really looking forward to the next race. Tomorrow we're going to uh, <laughs> to Lenzer Heide uh, in Valbella to uh, do the next enduro race, the next upcoming enduro race, the second last one we have. Um, and yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm I'm, I'm quite excited for it. <laughs>
Bike Kingdom. This was quite, um, quite a difficult race because it was just completely wet. Really muddy, slippery, really sketchy. Everybody was crashing. It rained the whole practice day. It was super cold. During the race, it was kind of, it, w it was drying again. And so it was like peanut butter, completely ungrippy. And I just was not able to handle it uh, on stage one too good. I sometimes just drifted off my lines and yeah, it was all right. I, I knew that it was not my best stage. There was one thing that we all kind of hated and that was at the top of the Rotorn. Uh, we went up there on practice and we were completely wet and we, it was just like basically minus degrees or at least it felt like it. We could not feel our hands at all. On the first stage, yeah, basically I got first place and then it came to the second stage and I was kind of, you know, I was kind of nervous and I was just thinking, okay, I just got to concentrate. And yeah, that's what I did. I concentrated, I, I went quite fast and there was this one steep section and I swear to God, it was, I, I hated it. It was so slippery and I ended up going over the bars and losing a good 10 seconds at the maximum. And it was, it was just a quick crash on my on my ribs, and it and it quite it hurt quite a lot, and couldn't really breathe cl correct. It was like if you got a football um, shot into your stomach. It, it was basically that feeling. But um, I ended up completing it and getting into second place, which kind of made me think, oh yes, I I gotta get on the podium. Uh, but I ended up not doing it because I um on the on the third stage, and that was just. Uh, it was quite, it was quite scary. I, I don't think I was that nervous at the very top, and I was just kind of not cocky, but I was just confident and too confident. I ended up losing focus. My bike got shot off, uh, shot under me, and um, yeah, onto all the rocks and everything. And it slide, a rock hit my um, shifter, my my handle, and it it, it bent and uh, like upwards and that meant I couldn't shift. The problem was I was in a really big gear because it was a downhill to uphill section and the uphill section was going up, you know, right there. So I had to run up and I just lost a good, with, with all the times I had to run, up, get off my bike, run back up. It, it was a good, uh, ooh, I think about 30 seconds at least lost. Um, and that definitely costed me the race. I think I would have probably gotten second place off of that. But um, yeah, I, w I was quite sad, but you know, uh, riding it off helped and yeah, it, was, it was fun. Um, the result at the beginning of the day wasn't what I wanted, but in the last stage, which was by far the longest and going down the World Cup track, which I know really well, I caught up like five or six people, which meant that I went into third place and fifth overall. So uh, that was really nice to be up there um, at my home race. And of course, we did a podium again with the team which is pretty nice.
Centro Valle und kommt aus Italien. Auf dem dritten Platz mit der Startnummer 377. Das ist der Ricardo Wender. Ball ist so. Jetzt sehe ich Centro Valle Ball ist so. Second place, James Zakaria. Platz und Fusen TV, Pipeline Racing. Und aus der Schweiz, Matteo Delese. So now in um, Airolo, the last race, it was super loose um, and you know there were a lot of bike park things but also some routes. In the beginning, I didn't plan to go to Airolo to ride the last round because I had several other th things planned for this weekend. But as I was uh, third in the overall, the guys told me that I have to come. So in the end, I decided to sign up for the race and uh, I raced. Um, I thought that I had pushed pretty good, but it was not enough. And I was in fourth, which was not so good. I was a few seconds off uh, the top three. So I tried to make that up on stage two. Stage two was super short and uh, I just pushed like I had never pushed before. So I ended up being second, but only by um, 18 hundredths of a second uh, back from, from the first on that stage. But uh, there was one corner where I just, well, my front wheel washed out because it was super sandy and so loose. Um, and I lost one of my one of my gloves and my front wheel got twisted around I mean my bars got twisted um, by 90 degrees um, and my front wheel got stuck into the tape so I had to get it out of there and put on my glove I just put it onto my bars and used it as a kind of grip and I was 25 seconds back uh, from the first spot but uh, you know it's racing you can crash it was all right and it was totally enough to secure myself uh, the first spot in the overall and Brenton and me also won uh, the Specialized Junior Talent Award which is uh, sick so we'll be able to go into a camp uh, in spring. So I just ended up uh, being on an overall um, second and I was really really stoked about that. Matteo ended up being first and um, yeah I don't think I could have really beat him. So I Primo posto, Deleuze, Matteo, con 440 punti. Hallo! 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 The end result was not what I wanted, so I ended up in fourth overall over the whole season. It's definitely not what I would have wished for, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to do better the, in the next year. I will be moving on to the under 21 category, which will be a lot harder than where I was now in the under 17. I'm also going to race the EWS in Cromontana in three weeks time from now on. Um, so yeah, that's my season of the SCS, I really liked it and see you next year. <laughs> <laughs>